big boobies. Oh. Okay, guys. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Alright, well, that was in there. Welcome to the train episode, everybody. Welcome to the train episode where True. we're living in, we're not living. We're living in the train. Well, one of us is. This podcast is brought to you by train. We are in the train. It's shaking. It's people. Not me. I'm my legs are. I have restless leg syndrome. I have a really hard time keeping. Depending on the train, uh, if it's a fast one, it will shake the house. Yeah, we experienced one like a couple minutes ago. Yeah, it was a big old freight train. Yeah, this way. Why are you get Why are you, 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 you're getting all sensual with All right, technology. we don't have much time, so let's stop messing around, okay? You have more time than I do. <laughs> I know. I have, but terminal, I wanna, I have stage I, four terminal cancer. We want you to have as much time with this as you can. Okay. We miss you in this, in this great podcast in this, of yours. In this, <laughs> of your? Your, your what? Like, no, like... Times of like old times. Your balls! <laughs> oh no, <laughs> he done get got us. Okay. Alright, welcome to Cobbercast. I don't think anybody said it. Welcome to season four, everybody. I don't even know that. No, this is still season three. It's episode, episode egg. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, this is the egg episode. Yeah. Train episode, egg episode. Any of the topics that we'll be talking about today will have nothing to do with trains or eggs. Meg Griffin. <laughs> Why is the train so loud? Why? Right as we recorded. Anyway. Mm. You just gonna cook an egg on the fucking burner? You should not do that. Egg. Just wait, we're gonna fucking it's die. It's going to explode. No, don't, don't do it. No, this way, don't. <laughs> this way, it could actually crack. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Oh my god! <laughs> they're no. not they're not they're not invincible. It got over the windowsill! Look, it's behind the blinds! It's on the blinds, it's not behind them. What did you do? Oh, for the listeners at home. <laughs> what well, uh, universe do you think that was a good idea? For, for, for the listeners at home, Patches just blew an egg up. Anyway, yeah, we have Patches, Zeno, and Rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This podcast is about to sound like a Mexican household. <laughs> we just need a vacuum. <laughs> when, the, when the Mexican kid turns on his mic. Every sound effect, like construction, like freaking Construction, cars there's through. a baby crying, <laughs> a mother yelling, <laughs> some fucking noises, a vacuum is going off. Just what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I went to Disneyland with my family over the summer, and oh my, parts of it were hell and some parts of it were great. So, I would like to talk to you about what happened in those trying days. You got anything else to say, Josue? Huh? You got any more special sound effects you need to hear? Up some dead fucking Carter, dead I want to hear about your adventures, because you refused to tell me them because of this podcast. I waited too long to it's say anything. It's been like four months, man. Yeah, I waited too long to say anything because everybody kept saying that they had plans to do. And it's October. I haven't edited an episode in that long, and I have three episodes, including this one, that are going to be piling up for me to edit. Fun fact, it's October. These events all happened in, like, the middle of, uh, I think, like, May. May. It was, like, end of May. End of May. All right, so... So we're very backlogged right now. Do you remember now. how fucking shit it was um, with all, of, like, at work, like, trying to get time off? For you, maybe I don't know why. Why for me, it would just like they they would just give me days, and I like, even if I didn't want them off, they would just give them to me. Like I would be like, hey, can I have this day, this day, and this day off? And then they'd be like, all right, here, here you go. I feel like they might be punishing me right now because my hours are cut. You've done nothing to be punished as well, which is stupid. Yeah, I I took a sick day, and before that, also I had two weeks off, for, uh, about one and a half week actually. So, like, am I being punished for that? You're just what? lazy, man. You're just lazy. They might, they must You're just not that. working enough. You're just not giving it enough effort. Not putting in the hours. Putting the work, putting You're the hours, and take the, waste I hours. I had a fucking eight-hour shift yesterday that, I, for some reason, they put me on, even though Dude. I'm, like... Dude, like I work 12 hours every fucking day. Yeah, but that's you. You're yeah, fine with you that. I'm not. 
Um, I'd be out. I get three months off during winter, so and I could apply for unemployment since it's a seasonal yes. job, so I can get money. All right, Which well, I'm just gonna go on vacation during that time. Tell into that. I I'm on vacation right now. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go on. Dude, we gotta do that cruise. We do. We have that cruise. I also want to drag people out to North Carolina, but that's like that's gonna be a lot of money per person for that's a plane ticket because there's no way I'm driving. I'm making plenty of money. Guess I'm doing a cruise. Well, we planned on this at like senior year of high school. This was a while no, ago. No, not senior year. We planned this out like I think junior. Year oh yeah, of junior. High we talked well, about I, don't, going. I don't remember any of this. It's because it was just the topic between me, him, and Ethan. Oh. Yeah, we just talked about, it, but we never did anything to really do it. We're like after high school, we have a ton of free time. All got jobs. It's mostly because you were talking with the people at the time who were actually making money, and mm. you were still at the janitor job making well, like three hundred a month. Yeah, yeah, not very much. Chump Granted, change. at the time I also was making like maybe a hundred dollars uh, a month. I yeah. can't remember what I was making. I was making seven fifty. I'm still making dick, but it's fine. I make almost two grand a month now, which is not great, but it's livable. For I make a grand a week. week. Yeah, you were the rich nice. boy, you're yeah. Mr. Mooney bags. See, but I have no free time. I get a, I get home from work and I have to uh, like by like six o'clock or seven and I have to wake up at like five a.m. So I go to bed at eight. My money will be going away though, cause as two days from today, as time recording, I turn twenty one. So all my money will just go right down into straight into alcohol. Straight into alcohol. <laughs> Mine's going I've elsewhere. I still got a couple of months to wait before I'm twenty one, but I probably won't be drinking anyway. So. No, Carter, you're gonna get wasted with us, me and Parker, all right? We don't even have to go I'll to a bar. Water, we don't right? have. To, we don't even have to go to a bar. Just uh. I'm, just just gonna gonna drinking I'm gonna go to the bar and I'm gonna say, give me one glass of heavy water, please. Straight deuterium. For some reason, my body thinks that I'm like ancient. Yeah. My body thinks I'm in my 70s because I've been eating like I've been eating healthier, and every time I eat something that's like slightly I unhealthy, I feel like really sick, <laughs> alcohol included. So if I drink like more than three beers, four beers. I, I, I begin feeling like my stomach is going to implode and I'm going to die. That's why you just keep drinking until that feeling goes numb. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't go away. I just feel sick. So that's why I'm probably just going to be like, all right, I'm going to have like one whiskey tonight and that's just going to be it. So. Okay. It's mostly ridiculous. Like I, can't, I, I eat two Oreos. I eat two Oreos. If I eat a third one, I feel like ass. Mm. That's how I am with cigarettes. Well, that's, those are cigarettes. Okay, we're back in. Sorry for the interruption. It's a background well, welcome fapping. back from that amazing... Uh, brap one, sesh! One millisecond <laughs> yeah, we, thing. I we had a, we had a brap sesh. sesh. Yeah, brap right. pause. Put that in editing. Brap pause. Yeah, brap pause. Brap pause there. Yeah. Alright, anyway, so we got off topic a little bit. I wanted to talk about Disneyland. So I, it was like four or five months ago, so I'm trying to remember. How many times have you gone now? Maybe like two or three times. I've only gone once, and that's like too I, many. I was I went to Disneyland twice as a kid, and I, I have not gone back, nor do I have I don't have the desire to go back. I went once. That was like one time too many, bro. Yeah, I think I'm kind of done because after this one, you know, <sighs> let's be honest. Sometimes when you go to vacations with your family, it's kind of like not a vacation. Thing. Yeah, because you got a bunch of like they're always planning like. We're gonna go to this ride at this time. You don't do it. We gotta wake do. up at this time to make sure that we go eat breakfast at the hotel. That's why close. I always bring my own car so I can do whatever the yeah, hell I want. Yeah, they close the freaking breakfast at this certain time, so if you're not there by then or before then, they'll close breakfast. You won't be able to eat. Okay, I'll just get lunch. I'm like fuck. Yeah, but then like lunch is like so expensive in Disneyland because you're in Disneyland. The whole yeah, time. Disneyland yeah. lunches are like. I, I, like, dollars like I will go a to a like a restaurant for lunch sometimes, and it'll be like I don't know, fifteen bucks max. If you go to Disneyland, it's like you're spending twenty dollars mm-hmm. on like a sandwich and a drink. It's it's crazy. Yeah, just a tiny sandwich. Those Disney price hikes are banging, dude. Right? Yeah, I mean, bang. do they open the park like every single day? Cause I they do. Well, this. most days open the park, but sometimes they'll have a they'll have a closure day. And if someone rents the park out. Then they'll close the day. Oh, that did happen there. Uh, I think there was like a Star Wars celebration or something. Like the weekend we were there, so they closed it early. The Star Wars land. So we had to leave out of there. But yeah, anyway. It costs so much money it was uh, like, to rent those out, by the way. It's like, I think to rent the like sections of the park out, you have to spend like tens of thousands well, of dollars. the Star Wars was Disney themselves anyway. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. 
Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen were there, so... Did you get to see no, them? No, I didn't, because oh, no. I needed to pay tickets to get in the freaking thing. I saw the interview from that, um... From that event. It was because Kenobi was coming out that weekend, too. I was like, yeah, yeah. 6 out of 10 show, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> 6 out of 10 is very generous for that it show. It is very generous, because I'm freaking nostalgic <laughs> for Kenobi, so it's whatever. Oh, no. My favorite Jedi was always Master Yoder. 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 Mr. Yoder. Mr. Yoder. Oh, yeah, there's a cat. With a left guy box. When she get out? Uh, the fiend is in the room, by the way. Uh, anyway, anyway yeah, keep, keep going. Keep yeah, going. so Tell anyway, it was an eight hour drive. We basically had to wake up at 5 a.m., probably earlier, to eight drive. Eight hours? Bro, your family make your family moves pretty good because I went to. We um, did make good time. Though. I went to Oregon this year and it was I think a thirteen hour drive. Granted, I'm going farther north, so it's going to be longer. This is your daily reminder that this is the uh, train episode? Sorry, keep going. This is the train episode, everybody. We all like trains here. We like trains, driving trains, eating trains, smelling trains. Forget everything that we said in the beginning. We're in the middle of a train depot. Yes. All right. We're recording out in the middle of the road. We have trains going next to us. Going above us. Welcome on ES seven seven thirty five. We are we are living the Vita Loca. <laughs> anyway, so we got there. We got at the hotel at I think maybe midday. Maybe it was like one or two or three. But uh, yeah, we were pretty much driving the whole way, and we stopped in Vegas for like a little bit just for like gas and stuff. You stopped in Vegas to get gas. I stopped in Vegas sure. to get ass. <laughs> I was uh, in proximity of Germa, so that was a little scary. <laughs> we are all... Dude, we live in an area within the German yeah, proximity in, ring. I was in the danger zone. We are the in immediate the... immediate danger. Yeah, you're, you're in immediate danger in a way. We're currently in um, illusion of safety. Illusion of safety zone. So, yeah, I'll put the freaking Germa thing up right now. Let me see. Put in Germa Giga Chat. Giga Chat. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So when we got there at the hotel, we stayed there for like couple hours it was just that day um, for rest and then immediately after we would go straight to Disneyland in the morning after that I don't actually know my oh wait no the first ride we went Strawberry on was uh, cake? the first ride we went on was Rise of Resistance because we got there pretty early <sighs> So you, you know the line did was you, freaking Did you do any, like, you did stuff day one? Like, when you yes. drove there, you just went straight back? No, yeah. no, 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 no. We got there, hotel, rested, day after. Day after, okay. Yes. I was like, I would not imagine waking up five, driving yeah. all the way to California, and then being like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm going to do right now? Instead of just getting dinner, I don't know, let's <laughs> let's go to the park and ride rides. No way. Yeah, no, no way. No, 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 no way. There's no so, yeah, way. We, we got up, we got breakfast pretty early. We were all ready because we're all excited to go to Disneyland. Disneyland. I wanted to go to Star Wars Land immediately. Make your lightsaber. I went there. I didn't make my lightsaber till the next week. Um, So I think it was maybe Wednesday? Actually, no, it wasn't Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. So I left Tuesday. That's right. So we went straight to the Star Wars Land. We didn't go to the cool entrance, so I was kind of like that was, was it? You were a sad little boy. You had to walk in through the, the, the princess zone. Yeah, and you walked through, through the back end where there were garbage and homeless people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Star Wars homeless people were walking around. It was actually kind of cool because it actually had like people dressed up in like Star Wars clothes. Like walking around the thing. Like actually like acting like they were in the area. It actually did feel very immersive. But even though it was set in the sequel era, I still I still liked it. It was a pretty cool experience. Did you them. talk to any of the clone troopers? Star Wars. Uh, Kylo Ren came up to me and Lizzie while I was building. What do you say? Bro? I I saw that video. Of what do you say? Him bro? coming up to you and so not when you were not building something. I can't remember. I I'll have I think to that's find enough. the video. No, I think he came up to you and said that's enough rap in there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so did you go to the one with the Millennium Falcon in it? Yes. Have you seen the aerial footage, like the aerial picture of what that looks like from above? Uh-uh. Oh, it looks so sad. Like, you have, like, the... It's it's so small, too. It's, like, for a Star Wars area in Disneyland, it, it's so... It's, it's like, tiny. It is a little tiny. And yeah. if you look at it from above, around the back, it's all industrial, like, the warehouse stuff. Right, and it, it just looks really too. sad if you look at it from the back. It, it, I don't know. It does not look very immersive unless you're right there. Yeah, in the, inside in the, of it. Inside of it. So we went into this... After Rise of Resistance, which was really good, I won't spoil, spoil anything about it, 
because it's freaking experience that for who yourself. Are you, who are you spoiling it for? Okay, you know what? Spoilers for Rise of the Resistance. The Star Wars Rise. retards. I mean, I'm not going. He's speaking retards. I'm not going to go to Disneyland and actually see this. It, okay. I'm Don't not going to ever go to it Disneyland. It actually feels like you're in the movie. Okay. The only like, way I go back to Disneyland is if I fucking had a child and they wanted to go. Yeah. That'd How be, like, about we go on a cruise that launches in California, but we wait three days. Like I can say. Oh, oh and then we hit the. And then we hit up Disneyland. And we yeah. fuck the prince, bitch, princess, bitches. And then man. I go up to the princess and say, "Hey, baby." And I'm like, right. "Hey, when you hey, get baby. off, girl? Hey, when do you get off work? I cut. How I about cut. you stay in costume? I, we can man, go. We can uh, go to Mickey Mouse club. Clubhouse and have a little blue time. Yeah, let's go hit the club. Anyway, and you stay in that costume. So yeah. say what you will about the sequels, but if you know if it was set in the sequel era. It was really cool because the line, as you're walking in the line, it doesn't feel like you're in a line. It basically feels like you're going into this like recruitment center for the resistance or something. Then these resistance guys come up and they pull you in into this like chamber. And then you see a hologram and they tell you like, hey guys, this is your mission. And, and then they then do another a door opens, physical. Then they do another door opens. And it's a full-on, like, fucking runway, like, full of two spaceships. You have, like, Poe's X-Wing on the right. Then you see, like, a little transport that you go into. And it feels like when you go into the transport, it feels like you're fucking, like, actually flying around. Because there's, like, screens that you can see outside of. And there's, like, uh, motion or something inside of the, the ride or something. I think it's just, like, a box that they actually have with, like, hydraulics. It's kind of like the Star Tours ride, where there's like a, a thing and it just moves around. But like, it, when that happens, inside of the, the, this transport thing, the First Order, uh, of course, tractor beams you into one of their Star Destroyers. And you actually like, walk into a Star Destroyer. And it looks really cool. Interesting. Yeah. And then you, and then all this, these wacky hijinks happen, and you escape the Star Destroyer. Basically, you have two rides in one. It's, I don't know, it's just a really in immersive experience. Even though I hate the sequels. I know a lot of things about immersive experiences. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, the immersive experience. You should do another one of those. I Currently should. we have I, a, I quite, of more quite of a that. few immersive experiences in VR chat. Oh yeah, anyway, have, have you any experiences? In the... Anyway, next topic is talk about Disneyland this way. Are you sure you weren't talking about getting dicked down well, by we, uh, cat girl fanboy twink? Not gonna, we're not gonna think about it. Like no, that. we're not talking about that yet. Not yet. Not yet, uh, at least. You mentioned how your parents were. <laughs> oh, my, yeah, yeah, my parents your, were your, fucking. Not, not your parents. Your, your entire family. Uh, my my parents were unhinged. I was just like trying to fucking experience Disneyland, and be like all fun, and they're like spouting about politics because they're inside of a blue state. They're like. You're, they're inside of the blue state. Yeah, they're inside of the blue state, California. They control literally everything that's blue. Like, even the freaking Blue Man group. They're they, there. They hold up their hands and say, Blue! And then the sky turns blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, what if the sky was blue? Which is hilarious, because if, you, if you've ever been to California, 95% of the time, it's the fog. sky is gray. It's fog. <laughs> it's like gray. living in Ireland, but well, it's hot. I guess, no, that's, like, that's coastal California. If you go further into the state, it's pretty blue. Yeah. Anyway, they kept freaking saying, my dad fucking, my dad fucking wore like a America Great Again hat while he's walking through Disneyland. I was like, dad, why, why do you have to do this? I also, I too enjoy painting targets on my face. Yeah, that's like, walking that's, through an the, for, that's your for sure way to get yourself into an argument. Or kicked out. Or kicked out of the fucking park. Like, oh my gosh. I think it was a, actually no, it was a, it was like a let's go Brandon or something. Your parents make me think of you seen have you seen the boys? Uh oh, not much. But have you? No. Okay, so they like blatantly lie to like media. Yes. And there's this one character that completely like Believes falls everything. like everything. Oh, like nice. it'll change on the flip of a dime. Like one thing, oh this person's an enemy to the nation and the next thing it's that person's not. Yeah. Right? And I feel like your parents are that person that just like believes it even on the flip of a dime. Yeah, okay, the thing is you know where they get their news from? Fucking all just Facebook. And, uh, it's like they don't even check their. Not even a news all. source. I was about to say CNN, but nope, not even. That. And they hate Facebook. They're like, I don't understand what Zuckerberg's doing. He's 
He's a fucking idiot. I, I, mean, I uninstalled like, Facebook. And then they're doing all Facebook things, talking to their weird 50-year-old people on there. Who's the only you think your dad's, so like, there. cheating on your mom with, like, an old woman? <laughs> no. That's... You think that's why they are, like, are you on time? Like, you fucked that old bitch and her old pussy. Your dad is cheating on your mom with Melania. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Your dad's fucking Mel- your dog. Melania's a free woman now. She divorced that man. Anyway. Well, I think they're in the middle of that, but... There yeah. was one... Here, let me give you one, one example. Literally, me and my sister were trying to have fun in the freaking line. Like, looking at all these cool things, right? And... I think Lizzie was talking about babies or something. Lizzie was like, I like to look at babies. I like to look at babies. There's, 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 there's like, so cute little, little babies. There's <laughs> like strollers and stuff. Oh, like, look at that little baby on the stroller. He's a little retarded. Which I don't understand. Why would you bring like a fucking two year old to Disneyland? They're not going to remember any of it. Dude, if you have no one to watch the baby, then they're, they're just going to risk its life look, leaving it on the street. There are these <laughs> things called Disney adults. They oh, yeah. don't care what like taxes they have to pay or responsibilities they have. They're like, I want to go to Disneyland. I want to go to Disneyland for the 20th time. I want to go to Disneyland and I want to see the things at the Disneyland. I want to make a new lightsaber one and of every color each same, time I it's go. It's the same thing at like concerts I've found. It's like they'll drag like this obviously too young to be there like child to wherever they're going. Like, I've seen that at concerts I've gone to. Like, I, I listen to metal, so I go to metal concerts. Yeah. And I would just waltz in there, the and boom, there. there is a person with a stroller. There's a person with, like, a five-year-old kid with earplugs in. It's like, Babies bro, hate that, that, that kid is probably not going to yeah. have that fun of a time on your shoulders when your dad is, like, going, woo, thrashing around, thrashing around in the mall. Oh, yeah, the baby. Put him on a leash. The, ba- the, ba- the baby just um, does like the rock and roll yeah. thing with his hands and just goes head bang. Yeah, anyway, so since we're talking about babies or something because we saw babies and strollers around. And Did then, you get a girl pregnant? No. <laughs> it's related though because my, my parents were, I was like, I don't know, some, something in the conversation brought up. I was like, yeah, who doesn't like babies? And I was like, and then my mom goes, liberals because they like abortions. I was like, why? Then why did you have to say that at all? Like, in the middle of the freaking line with 50 people next to us. It's... Oh, my gosh. And the, all the people in the line, like, their eyes flashed red, and they all turned around to face your mom, and they went, conservative. It really, it really did feel like that. And then like they that. walked over there and threw over the line. Like, I'm... Like, I, I can say that I'm pretty on the fence about a lot of things. And that goes to politics as well. Mainly because both sides are fucking hinged. I just don't like talking about it. Me either. That's why I'm like, I don't fucking care. We seem to be doing a lot of talking about it for people who don't like to talk about it. It's because it's... It's relevant to the topic, It's right? re- Yeah, it's relevant. Anyway, well, everything was was alright. Um, there were a couple rides that... You know, th- they changed the uh, Tower of Terror to the Marvel uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. It actually made it fun. It was actually, it was actually cool. I do miss the Twilight Zone stuff, though. Because that was cool. The Twilight Bone. The Twilight Bone. Your home trigger, not only of comfort, but also of fortress. Anyway, uh, let's see. What else? Oh my gosh. Okay, another thing related to how weird my parents are. We were going, we were in the, uh, the Marvel area. I think, it was, I think it's called Avengers Campus. Something like that. So you guys got on the short bus and rode to the short zone? <laughs> Special planet? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have very good opinions of Marvel tards. I don't either. I mean, I like Marvel. I watched Ultron while we were driving over there. It was a pretty good film. I think that's when... One of the better Avengers movies, you I think you mean? that's when they stopped. I think that's when they stopped being good. It's when Ultron came out. Uh, I think Infinity War was pretty okay. I didn't like Endgame. Endgame was okay. Infinity War was pretty good. I think that's when they stopped freaking being good altogether. Just I completely know. dead. I'm not going to support Endgame. Endgame to me was bad. Me either, yeah. Anything Marvel nowadays just can't yes. They didn't have yes. the Thanos copter, I'm sad. They didn't have the Thanos cock, dude. Yeah, me too. I was about to say that. There's no Thanos cock mentioned. No. It was weird because canonically... You're walking around the Marvel area. There's canonically characters that are dead walking around. <laughs> well, maybe they just went on a vacation. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Either way, keep, keep going. 
There's this area. Oh, have you heard? Speaking of Marvel, actually. There's, yeah, Marvel, I think. Talking about Deadpool? Deadpool and Wolverine. I saw the a thing on it. Deadpool 3 is coming out. Two years from now. <laughs> yeah, 22, 24. 20, 24, and Hugh Jackman's going to be uh, Wolverine again. Hugh yeah. Jackman? Yeah, Hugh, Hugh Jackman's Jackman. coming back to the claws, dude. Nice. He's coming so, back. That movie I'm actually kind of excited for. That sounds like he's So good there's this, we went there for lunch one time. There's this place called, like, Pim's Tesh, K- Test Kitchen or something. You know right. Pim, the guy from Ant-Man who makes everything Pim from, uh, Smiling, Smiling Friends? Friends? Pim, yeah. Pimp? Yeah. From Pimp. Smiling Pimp. Twinks? Smiling Twinks? <laughs> Um, so we went there, the line was really long, we had to wait there for maybe like four, 30 or 40 minutes. Dude, that's um, bad. We get up to the freaking checkout, it's very obviously a trans woman, um, and you know my parents and their stances on freaking LGBTQ Anything again, matters. Anything yeah. again, yeah. After we check out, my mom goes up, to, goes to my dad and whispers, that was a man. I said, wow. You, wow, you don't say, it's kind wow, of Wow, you don't say, I mean... They, they were at one point. It's kind of obvious. Like They know, know they, they were say. a man. They know what they look like. There's no point in stating the obvious. Yeah. Like, come on. It's oh. more of like a mental thing for some people, too. Like, they just want to mentally identify. As a, I think I forgot most of the bad things because nothing is coming back to my mind except for me, like, riding the ride. They changed the... Uh, they Lines changed still the, fucked? Lines are... Actually, there's this really cool system... Um, where you can like basically get like a fast pass thing on your phone. You do have to pay for like every single ride though that you want to get into though. Oh my god, I bet they but, make so much money that way. But yes, that is how they're getting a lot of money. But that's how we were able to ride so many rides all the time. Is they had this thing. Are your parents in debt now? <laughs> they might be. Because they got a new freaking air conditioning a couple of days ago. That was like $1,200. Where's your dad getting all this money from? He's an accountant for a landscaping company. I don't know if that's. I don't Watch. think that's big money. I think, if anything, twenty five thirty. Yeah. No, that's more. For, for just an accounting? For accounting, yeah, you get quite a bit of money. Okay. I mean, have to know a lot with of the house, with, with the house you live in and stuff they can afford to do, it's like I'm pretty sure you, he makes probably like sixty, you seventy. You have to know quite a bit no, of yeah. maths for that. And he's, he's been he's been in it for a while. It's like yeah. it's, it's not like he's only like a two year, three year accountant he's probably got like oh so he's probably making pretty a, good he money he probably has a decade of experience so it's yeah. like he's probably making probably 60 to 80k a year yeah 60k a week <laughs> <laughs> i would love 60k a week oh 60k my. a week i would just i would i don't know i'd save up for like that two makes years and then, money. like it makes no me want to <laughs> either <laughs> andrew be... tate makes no money andrew... that's, a, that's what he says he makes but he doesn't make <laughs> no he is banned off of every bank yeah he's gone bro okay well they changed there are a couple things that they changed. They changed, um, they changed the, uh, what is the, what is the, uh, the Screamin', California Screamin' coaster in California Adventure. They changed that to an Incredibles, um, themed one, which is okay. Um, it was a little weird because it's like, why, why would you make it an Incredibles thing? But it's whatever. It's the same ride, it's just there's a different experience because there's Incredibles, like, pop-ups and, like, animatronics. Um, coolest thing that I did was I built a lightsaber. Really cool experience. Um, basically you go to a little sh- uh, shop called Savvy's Custom Lightsabers or something. You give them your name and you like pay for the thing. Then you wait for the group. You go into the thing. Where's he barking at? And then they're like, this is lightsaber. This is the color of who, who did lightsaber. This is Yoda was green, by the way. <laughs> Yoda, Yoda was and Darth green. Vader was red. Yoda, Darth Vader was Yoda, black. Yoda was <laughs> green and Darth Vader was a. Ni- <laughs> Darth Vader was Indian. Really, if you pull his if you pull his mask off, he is Indian under there. It's I swear. The, uh, it's the um the, H- the phone tech company goes. <laughs> Hayden Christensen was just the body double. <laughs> So I built a lightsaber, I got a blue crystal for it originally, and then I uh, went to the other shop and then I bought another yellow crystal. Oh, dude, cool. a yellow one because you, you that special Jedi? <laughs> you, you, bought the yeah. piss, you, you bought you bought the piss crystal? Yeah, I got the I got the pit piss saber. And I also bought a Jedi roll for like hundred and fifty dollars. Oh my god, isn't that just like you spent as 300, much. Yeah, you spent. I bought like four four hundred and fifty dollars there. You spent about as much as I did at the concert that I went to when you while you were there. 
Yeah. Which you were supposed to go to. We also went to Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> which is where the funny long ride from Sleepy Cabin was. Long it ride. actually was bad. The long ride was <laughs> terrible. By itself was like actually a bad ride. Knott's Berry Farm is one of those hit or miss things where you go and it's either really good or you go and it's terrible. That was the last part we went to. We should have yeah. went to it first so then we could have experienced Disneyland as best for last. <laughs> because the day that we went there to Knott's Berry, so many fucking teenagers were there hopping the lines and like causing so much trouble for everyone else in they the were, freaking park. They were causing a ruckus. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's all I wanted to do there was go to the long run because funny sleepy cabin history moment. You, did you, did your ass touch where Oni's did? Yeah, I did, it might have. Yeah, I was in proximity of where he was. Did you smell the autism in the air? I did. I could hear, I could hear the echoes of the autism <laughs> screaming. Oh, no, no, oh, don't remind me. It's scaring me. Oh. That was so scary. So yeah, we, we left Knott's Berry, after Knott's Berry, uh, next day after we left. So it was it was an alright experience because of Disneyland, but like, looking back, there were some terrible moments because my parents were on him. That's why you always bring your own car, or just I'm rent sorry, a car I'm when you get to the place. Was very loud, I had to melt some ice. Just, yeah, Carter, if you ever want to like, go somewhere without your family, oh, we just rent the, a car. We went to the, the beach. Oh, and I was forced to like... Talk to a woman you were first to talk to females. I was forced to on go the beach because my my family, half naked. My family's in a choir, Oiled up, and that's the whole there. reason why we were there. My family's in a choir for like religious stuff. So holy night. Yeah, it sounds like that exactly. So we that's why we were there. We went there in the first place because the choir actually paid for all of it, basically most of it at least, like the hotel and everything. What? So, yeah. <clears throat> But I was forced, I was forced to go to the beach and do this freaking stupid like choir sermon at the beach and it made no sense because like what? bro there <laughs> bro look there are Mormons here are you serious that's in freaking California yeah they migrate every year they migrate, yeah. like they, birds. They migrate. why would you go to California if you're Mormon that makes no sense fornication oh okay that makes sense never mind unsupervised children. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's something I've seen. Like anywhere I go, where like a large group of like, not even like LDS, like just religious people are, they will just set their children free and then ignore their responsibilities. That's true. Yeah. I think it's just people that do that, but like humans, humans do. I when, every job I've worked, every place. single job that I've worked, except for DoorDash, had some issue where a child was just left unattended, mm-hmm. and they got into some trouble. Like, and I worked at a garage for a little while. Like, even there, someone was like, oh, yeah, little Timmy, you can, I'm going to look at cars on the sales lot. You can just go run around, and then the kid ends up in our, in our fucking garage and drinks, like, paint thinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking epic moment right there. Epic moment right there. True. Uh, the hotel room, uh, we didn't get any cleaning service, so it kind of just piled up and got worse well, I mean, as the days yeah. went by. I think you're supposed to clean it yourself, dude. I mean, we did. Yeah, you would have had you to. clean it yourself, and then if you were your parents leaving the "Don't Disturb" <laughs> sign outside every mm-hmm. single time. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, but we would have had to pay for room service anyway. So oh, that's, that's nasty! Not free room service. Yeah. The hotel was free because it was paid for, but room service we would have to pay for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why I don't go to California. My and sister, because of the riots. My sister wanted me to go to California a little, yeah. uh, like a month ago. She riots. wanted me to, she wanted me to go with her to visit her boyfriend in California, and I was like, Nah, I don't really think I want to do that because it's Cali. So and I was correct right, because I, I, I went, I didn't go, but my sister came back and was like, so we went to visit his sister's house, and his sister is one of those people with like five inch long acrylic nails oh, no. and like Gucci everything. Mm-hmm. And her, okay, fun fact: her, his sister lives like two streets down from Knott's Berry. <laughs> So, uh, uh, it, it, it's just like, I don't want to go and associate with those people, uh, and be in California, but not do anything in California. So, you know, yeah. not worth it. I could have sworn I got sick at Knott's Berry because of all the freaking, there's just such disgusting shit everywhere. I mean, you there was get, trash all over. We don't, we don't get sick working where we work. So yeah, uh, there was trash all that's over. That's a lie. I've gotten, fucking... I think I've gotten COVID twice from I working have, at I might have as well. That might have been the day I came back. Either that or it was probably from Kelly, actually. 
there was so much trash and garbage and just shit all over the ground. Just say it. Not spray, like, does go. anybody have, does nobody have any care for anything? Do, no. Do not throw anything in the trash at all. People don't care at all. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we totally know we're in a Southern California theme park. Yeah. And there's freaking scum everywhere. I like how after immediately after this experience you came home and sick. then you were like, oh, I got sick. I, I got sick are... too after the concert. Yeah, so I was like, my lungs are freaking dying. Both of us got sick. I was sick for a month. I was sick from like, I think like May 29th to all the way to July 1st. I think it was like a week and I had to get off work for like two days. Anyway. But that second day I got to play Minecraft all day and we got to kill the Ender Dragon. You two, oh, have, you two have a lot of yeah. good energetic fun. I... Have to go and perish in a hole. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go die in a hole again. I'm gonna go die in a hole again. Uh, I'll be back for. His character's gonna be completely retconned. I forgot what happened. Again for the third third time. I'm gonna get retconned for the third time. You guys have a fun day. I you will. Too, Parker. Thanks for I will, joining us. I'll be back on the podcast whenever you guys need me to be back the on the podcast. Podcast. In another two years, my friend. In another three years, my friend. Hello. Bye bye. Adios. So that's the Actually, no, I forgot one more story about Disneyland. My my mom was trying... Oh, my God. Oh, no, it's coming back. Oh, it's all coming back. It's flowing in. Oh, it's flowing in. Oh. When my little sister got fucking, like, tapeworms. Dude, how'd she get tapeworms in her butt? I don't know. This has happened, like, two, like, two years ago in Christmas. For some reason, she had, like, tapeworms. She might have been playing with our chickens too much and not washing her hands. And the tapeworms crawled up her butt? Yeah. But she had tapeworms at the Disneyland. So, um, we had to go to some public bathrooms, like the private, like, one stall, basically, yeah. like, family bathrooms. Um, she was having really bad issues. She was crying. She was complaining a lot. It was really annoying because we were waiting in lines and stuff. And she's just like... And you gotta pull out the worms out of her butt. Yeah, into the freaking in the freaking uh, bathroom. So what happens is we go to California Adventure. We were going to ride on. Uh, while while this was happening, everyone else was gonna go ride the um, the Rapids ride. It's kind of like the Rattlesnake Rapids at Lagoon. Oh. But it's like it actually has like a drop and stuff. It's actually kind of. Uh, it's actually a lot. It's actually cool. Yeah, it's actually better. Um. We were gonna do that. We go to the bathroom and wait until they're doing their stuff. What were they doing in there? What? What were they doing in there? In the bathroom, huh? Pulling the fucking tapeworms out of brass. Yeah? Yes. So her mom, your mom. Yes. Reaching your sister's ass. Yes. Like, put her fingers up her asshole. Oh, sway, these are fucking ringworms. Yes! This is your this mom is gave your sister you. a rim job. No, okay. Well, here's the thing. Before that, there was this woman that was waiting there beforehand. My sister, my little sister, could not wait. Little sister, not Lizzie. Oh, little sister. That's why she was playing with you know the chickens. Cox. Was, yeah. <laughs> so it's very unfortunate that that happened. Um. There's this other lady that was waiting with her other child, uh, possibly same circumstance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe. Who knows? You'll never know. Never know. But uh, Elsie doesn't see that there was a person waiting. She goes in the bathroom before, uh, while the, the stall opens. She immediately goes in and locks the thing. And then my mom has to deal with this angry woman outside. It's like... I was waiting here, and basically we had a Karen moment, and I was just sitting there on the bench next to the bathroom, just. I just you leave know, the awkward. whole area. I was like, "This is fucking bad," because she was like yelling at her. I was like, "Oh!" It's not really your mom's fault. You just there. Like, I know it wasn't. It's, it's a small like, child. Considering all the other like political shit and how unhinged they were before, it's just like this. Could, this could be bad. It didn't. Oh, yeah. It didn't, thankfully. But, you know, it was awkward. It could have been, that like, happened. a whole fucking riot, bro. So, yeah, we had to, uh... We had to let, um... Her do her thing. So, 
Did cool. you just walk away from the Karen once Basically, the, she Basically, we did, came out? yeah. Uh, but she gave us some dirty looks, like the fucking bitch she is. And then, uh, yeah, we left and went and found a different bathroom. <laughs> I think we did. But yeah, um, other than that, another weird thing that I saw at Disneyland where people were, like, walking up to the actors, like Loki, and, like, kneeling to them. Which I get. Lord! And, and, like, Maleficent. But then my family was like, why are they kneeling to them? Those are the bad characters. Like, really? They're the bad guys. Like, you cannot really? be doing that. It's bad. He's been, they're bad people now. It's like Satanist behavior. It's like, what? I think it's just like for kicks and giggles, yeah, though. Okay. Is, like, is, can you not like enjoy movies in peace? Like, at all? No, everything's got to have like, a meaning. They're also complaining about how they're turning the Splash Mountain ride, which... Okay, to be fair, it was based on a racist cartoon about a jackrabbit. Um, they're changing it to Princess and the Frog. But while they were doing that, my family was, was talking about, you know, the main villain in Princess and the Frog? Yeah, he's like, like a the wizard guy. dude. Yeah. They said that he's like a Satanist. <laughs> dude, your family is unhinged. Yeah, they're fucking... <laughs> Everything's gotta mean something to them. Yeah, it's got, just like... When you have a religion that s that shows that everything ever is a sign, th they look at everything and they nitpick it, and they're like, "That's bad. That's Satanist. That's evil. So yeah, that's, that's gay. That's why I locked myself in my room and uh, do things. Maybe you should just move out with Parker and Ethan. I may as well. To be honest, it might just happen sometime, but I don't have the money for it right now. <sighs> Walmart's being gay and cutting my arms and also being stupid with, with headphones. Are they still not fixing the hours? No. Well, not yet at least. Even though I told my manager that I did. And they were like, alright, well, you need to sign another thing. And they won't get you those hours for you. So if it doesn't, if they don't have no more hours again, just, just quit, gonna bro. fucking quit and do something else. Work at Smith's. Unless they're cutting hours there too. I probably I might work at Smith's even though Ethan says it's shit. Yeah, but better than Walmart. Did you work at, like, uh, just regular, like, grocery stuff? No, I did deli, and then I did, worked in the freezer. Mm -hmm. So I stocked frozen goods. Dude, that freezer got cold. Like, I had to have, like, ice on my eyelashes and on my stash. Nice. I'd be fine with, like, stocking shelves. It gets, uh, boring. And then talking to people. That's why I just... No, the thing is, you always have to have, like, one earbud out, or at least listening, because there's always someone that comes yeah, up to you asking I something. I only have one earbud in. But even at Walmart, they say that you can't do that now anymore for some reason. That's why yesterday I jipped the system. And whenever I was busy and knew there weren't managers around, boop. Pop it in. Yeah. Just wear a beanie, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm going to do when it starts to get cold is I'm going to wear a beanie. Just do it now. They have Walmart beanies. A tray had one. I should probably get one, yeah. Because then you can cover the earbud with the uh, beanie, yeah. basically. But I'm not sure if they have any of that Walmart. Because Trey got it from his old Walmart. My Really? Yes. That's ridiculous. I know. It's like, how the heck are you supposed to like actually work? Okay, I, I can see how like a forklift driver yeah. doesn't need your shouldn't have earbuds Here's in and thing. whatnot. It was Cap Two. Cap Two. Are but the Cap guys, Two, yeah. Yeah, they're the guys who stock the shelves. They walk through the store. That's it. Yeah, they're the guys who. They don't help people. Yeah. They just go out, get the food, and then take it to the car. Yeah. Well, it's not Cap Two. It's um OPD. Oh yeah. The Cap 2 are the guys who do the stocking and shelves and stuff, and like freight. Um, it, apparently, they've been complained about that customers are like trying to talk to them and they can't hear very well, but like, just fucking pause the fucking thing. Just pause it, yeah. So, but it's like. Take out the earbud. They're, they're a completely different department. And you're getting are. punished over it. And every single person in the store is getting punished for it. It's like fucking living in a communist regime, dude. <laughs> Give us all your punch rack! But yeah, the, the, the time I was there, everyone was using their fucking earbuds. Oh god. Nobody said anything about it either. It was funny. Because it's like, as soon as I went to the dispenser room, everyone had their fucking earbuds in. Just right in. They didn't give a shit. I wouldn't give a shit either. I never give a shit at Walmart. They told me yeah, to do a, wear certain clothes. I didn't do anything. Is, are pieces of shit right now. So I just like, fuck them. Fuck them. I don't give a shit. Yeah. They I'm, glad, me, I'm glad I'm I good. quit. I need a new job. 
hey, you can apply for unemployment. They fucking fire you. Yeah, exactly. You get money until you get another job. But if you don't want to get another job, just take a break for a bit and still get money. Yeah, exactly. We gotta take a shit, so you might have to pause that. I take I took like three sips of this beer and it's like you making me now? feel like have extreme diarrhea. I feel like this is gonna be a pop. Alright, I'll wait for a minute. Alright guys, hold on for a moment while I'll sweat fucking brats and Brat stuff. pause yet again. Brat pause number two. <laughs> Population not all sway anymore because he just left. I have returned! Jesus Christ. That is so fucking loud. Alright, whatever. Oh, dude. Don't deal with it. Don't deal with it. (coughs) (coughs) That too. That was loud as well. Don't mind me. It's my lung cancer. It's my lung cancer. Um. Dude, you'd be th- surprised by the amount of people that care about their lawn. So since I started working this lawn care service, I've had so many people come up to me and say weird shit. Like, like they want their lawn done in some specific way. Or like if you don't do it right, they'll like get on your ass, or they'll just watch you do it the whole time. Yeah. It's fucking weird. There was one time I went to this lady's house, and I was spraying her lawn, and I I got, I got like the whole thing entirely. And then she comes out of the front yard, and he's like. You didn't get that corner. You didn't get that corner. And I'm like, what? And I came up to her and was like, look, look at the camera footage. You, you, you didn't get that corner. It's like, I barely missed like three inches off that corner. The, the camera footage. Yeah, she has cameras. She's watching you like a fucking security. The camera. thing is, when she said that, my heart fucking sank because I had taken a piss. I had a piss so bad, so I went to the edge of her house and I took a piss. Oh, no. Not knowing that she had fucking cameras. Oh no! So when she said that, she's like, "Come here, I need to, I need to show you something." And I was like, "What?" Did you see and, it? And then she said, "Like I, I've been recording." Yeah, I'm like, "Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! There goes my job! There goes my job!" Yeah. And she's like, "You missed the corner." And then to show you, that's all she said. So I was like, "Okay, okay, I'm good in this so far." And then she started switching from her cameras oh. through the recording. Like, and like I saw you go through with my bag and everything, and then I didn't see you go back the other way. And then she's like, and I, I think, did you get that side strip where I took a piss at? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, I got it. And she didn't pull up the camera. And she didn't have a camera on that side. Oh. I was like, oh my fucking god. Oh my god. By the grace of the gods. She probably looked back and saw it. No, there's no way. The thing is, her, uh, her sign was on the other side. Oh, so she probably didn't even see it. Yeah, 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 she Police and the thing is, I did that house right after too. So I did her house and then her sons right after. Why? Why would you? Okay, I understand why you need like cameras, like maybe security. They have cameras all over, even but the backyard. Like, why would you have them all over your house? I don't know. Did you, well, I understand like maybe if you had a major break in beforehand. No, dude, this is a white ass neighborhood. But like, why? Dude, and I, I'm, 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 I died. Another time, I fucking uh, my when I was first starting, my trainer had to piss so bad again. So I pissed on the like the truck wheel of the truck real uh-huh. quick, and then he came around the corner and saw me. I was like, "It's like I mean, you don't, you do you. Just you know, there's a camera in that truck. Just make sure I don't see you." I'm like, "All right, okay, okay, okay." And that was, that was on it. The truck. I, no, not on the truck, but by it, you know, oh, so nobody it. could see me. And then fucking the same trainer, like at the end of like another day, it was like two days later. I go in, I'm like off work. I go in to use the bathroom, and he's just there. I open the door, and he's just there sitting, taking the fat shit. And he's like, oh shit! He screams, oh shit, I'm like, ah oh, fuck. No, I didn't even say anything. The first thing I did was laugh. Laugh hard as fuck. I'm like, And then, like, I was like, fuck, I just walked away. I didn't want to encounter him uh, after that. It's good, you got a defense mechanism. You don't actually, like, fucking... I, I scream on the top of my lungs. I scream. Oh, that reminds me. Of this one time, I was on the front of the front runner. You know, the fucking train that's been going back and forth. So far, it's podcast. pretty quiet right now. But yeah, 
I was on there a while ago, a really, really long time ago. I was a really little, little child. Like, <sighs> six or seven. I used to go on there to get head from a bitch. On the fucking train? No, on the train. I take the train to a place. Oh. Anyway, I... I was in the... I was like, I went to the bathroom. So my little fucking kid dick, it needs to leak. And I think I actually needed to shit as well. Leak out of both, man? I forgot to unlock the door, or to lock the door. And some old guy fucking looked at me. And, uh... I'm just gonna know. I, uh, I think I may have been a pedophile. Mm. Because of just how disgusting he looked. From what I remember... Did he have a he hard on? He in there for maybe a little bit, maybe one or two seconds longer than I would have thought. He looked as like, oh, oh, and then closed the door. Like he yeah. went for a second glance. Well, he well he looked, and then maybe he was shell shocked, and like, but like he looked at me. Like, Did he see your cock? Was your cock out? Okay, D card. Do you shit with your cock and balls above your thighs or under your thighs? What, you mean like, you mean like putting your, like this? Like, like having it up? Yeah. No. Okay. Why? So your cock and balls weren't like visible, they yeah, were they tucked were, in. They were underneath the seat, probably. So, I mean, they weren't hanging, because yeah, <laughs> my balls didn't drop them yet. I was like, yeah, they're probably too small to be seen, dude. They're probably too small to be seen today, dude. Dude, probably he probably good. was like thinking about fucking you in the ass, and then he saw oh. some around the corner. Oh my god, I don't Bad memories. How much time are we even at? We're at like almost an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got to like 10 minutes left. <sighs> what next? Here, I can do a quick something. I can find a, a thing. Maybe like a year or so ago, I got hacked because I noticed my skin had changed. So Dude, I was, sink my skin. I t yeah, I was like, my skin, my skin is different. <laughs> no, I got hacked into the mainframe. I, I gotta peel it off. I gotta peel off my skin. You Ugh. like the way your skin feels on your body? Take it off. No, oh, you peel it off. Anyway, so I measured them like ten times. Mojang support to freaking get my account back. Do you know how long it freaking took them to get my account back? Oh. Like almost two months. That's and I was in ridiculous. college at the same time. It's just like, what the heck do I play while I'm bored? <laughs> and that was the same time where Parker had that room where I, uh, where you were making the Japanese house and stuff on that. Yeah, on that. I know. Yeah, that was the same room. And I really learned to play it again. So. It didn't work. And then we had our other. Is that other room still running? I need to pay for more of it again. I mean, if anybody wants to feed it again. Some more we should get back into it. We need to do something like a, we need to do a project. That's the thing to make the game more entertaining. Make an arena or something. Yeah, we should all like contribute into something. I think an arena might be a cool idea because we can actually implement PvP. Yeah, or like a dungeon or something like I mean, that. Yeah, maybe like a hmm. yeah, like a, maybe like a city. No, let's think. Because if we all you know put in the effort, we can build something pretty yeah. cool. Dal did you see Dallin's house? Yeah, isn't it just all stone? It's like a giant, like, monolith that's made out of, uh... Deep slate. Deep slate. It's freaking huge. It looks really cool, though. It's huge, but there's not much in it. It's like a big, empty box. Yeah, he's he filled the first floor with, like, a dining table. But have you seen... Uh, have you seen the one I've set up? It was the Viking one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I need to add more. Last time I went on there with Ethan and you, we were fighting the wither. But yeah, we on the it. ice. We want to freaking do that again. Why did See, we do it in the ice? We always we fell through the freaking ice. Oh, because right? I didn't want my shit to get destroyed that was nearby. Now there are freaking wither holes everywhere. Would you fuck a wither hole, sorry? Three heads is better than one. <laughs> Would you fuck a creeper? I don't want my dick exploding. Dude, who's barking? It's Mr. Fringus. Alright, well that's it. That's my freaking Mojang account being 
being taken over. So yeah, I had to freaking play like War Thunder again, and that's why my addiction has still never faded. Okay, last 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 story. This I just saw this in my notes. In elementary school, a long time ago, when I was a little boy. No, oh, a sweet little boy with his bottle still ungaped. Little boy of age. Yeah, maybe six or seven. Yeah, this might have been around the same time my guy looked at me in the freaking train. No. Uh, we were doing something, I think this may have been first or second grade, maybe third at most. Um, I was doing a project or something, you were all doing like a group thing. I, I leaned over, and there was this hot babe next to me, right? Oh, yeah. And I leaned over like this. And sniffed. Guess what happened? You fart. I go... Farted straight onto her. And I think I bent up straight, like, back enough, because I can't really do it now. Because when I was a kid, I was more limber. I think I went, like, all the way back like this. Oh, Carter. And I fucking farted straight in her you face. You brapped in her mouth, dude. Yeah, and I, could, and I looked back, and I saw the wind going across her hair. I was like, what the fuck just happened? And then her, her face... Her face is imprinted into my brain ever since the day that it happened. Did it smell? Could you smell it? I couldn't. But I she don't could. remember at least. But she could? She probably could. She made a It made a sound. Face. It made a sound. It made a breath. Everyone fucking looked at me. Everyone's almost like, oh. Isn't that the worst experience in like school? Just ripping oh, a fat one in front of people? It haunts me every time I'm trying to go to Cause sleep. Because you're just trying to go for a little one and then just... Yeah, I'm, try- I'm not trying to go to sleep every night. And that comes into my brain. I was like, get the fuck out of my brain. Come on, please. I don't want to remember that. Oh. oh my gosh. I was so embarrassed. I'm having embarrassment from a, an event that happened 15 years ago. Alright, well, so I'm gonna freaking oh. delete all of these things that I already talked about in the notes. Do you have anything else to close? Um. Do drugs, smoke math, you live once. Cheat on your wife. <laughs> What's a spike in uh, marital problems after this comes out? So. But I could buy this was a podcast. This was a podcast. It was a great one. Yes, uh, the best one we've released yet. <laughs> Subscribe. I have three more episodes to edit after this. Oh my god. Oh.